Hello everyone and welcome to New Health 101. In this episode I will show you a product which is not frequently spoken of but which is a must have for business applications and analytics. TMS FNC chart. This is used for an easy graphical representation of your data that is completely cross platform. You already have a wide range of possibilities with just some easy to access properties. And I will show you the basics with TTMS FNC chart. A great advantage if you start working with this component is that it has some random sample data with which you can work. So this sample data exists out of three series, which is your lines, but this can be drawn as something else as well, which is set with your chart type. You have over 19 different possibilities. Uh, for example, the pie chart, the bar, stacked bar, the 100% stacked bar, but even box plot and candlesticks. So this shows you how versatile this component is and that you can also use it for financial and statistical applications. Let's put it on a bar. Here you can see this. So if you don't like the markers or the dots, you can hide them as well. So how is this chart series uh, built? Well, it's built out of different points, which, is your, which are your values. So here you have the Y value and if I drop this down to 40, you'll see the bar drop. You also have the value close and the value high. This is also used with the candlesticks. You can also use different axes. So for example, here you can see that the O to Y range is with the common zero based. So it bases it all, all the series on zero and then just draws them. But you can use different axes as well. And you can place the different axes on different positions. You can put them on the left, on the right, here Y values, positions, and then you can put them on the right and sometimes even in the center. Another thing that you can use is a trend line that you can add, but this is in code. So I'll just delete some series to make it easier to see. Here we go. And on the form create, we'll do TTMS, a TMS FNC chart. Why is it not working? One dot add trend line for which series the index is zero as we only have one. The start X is zero as well and the end X is 10. These are the points that we have. I'll show you again. So we have 10 different points and they start at X value zero to X value 10. So we have 11 different points. I'm sorry. If we run the application, you will see that in the form create it has drawn the trend line. This is a first degree function. So it keeps in mind the business cycle, but not the seasonal component. Let me show you the cross platform part by creating a simple example in TMS WebCore. So with TTMS FNC chart, and we'll create a, a simple pie chart. So I'll remove the series, then add a new one. I'll set the chart type to CT pie, and then I'll add three different points. There we go. I'm gonna keep the random Y value and just give them a different color. And you can already see the pie chart coming to life. Another possibility is to add the labels of the values. You can position them actually where you want. Um, and um, we can also make it a ring chart by adding the inner size of the pie chart. And now if we run this, you will notice that it shows exactly as it was in design time. As you can see, this is just the tip of the iceberg of the different possibilities that you have to use this product. If I would show everything to you, it would be an extremely long video. So I hope that I gave you already an idea of when and how you can use it. As I already mentioned, this is an FNC product, so it can be used on Lazarus, TMS WebCore, FMX and VCL. So, any case where you need a graph, keep in mind that we have the TMS FNC chart for you available. Thank you for watching. Till next time.